investigates exclusive tonight. Criminal cases now thrown out and defendants off the hook. These cases are all connected to an evidence room scandal at the Braintree Police Department. Investigative reporter Kathy Curran broke the story. She has the new fallout cap. And Heather, three pending drug cases from the Braintree Police Department went before the judge today. These are cases that detectives and prosecutors worked on for more than a year. But because there are questions about the integrity of evidence, those criminal charges were tossed out within minutes. This time the Commonwealth would be filing a now process. Roberto Castillo's criminal charges are dropped and he walks out of court a free man. Castillo and Eileen Santos, whose charges were also dropped, were accused of dealing heroin, morphine and cocaine back in 2015. The suspects were arrested at a Braintree motel, but today the cases were tossed out as a result of the evidence room scandal at the Braintree Police Department. There was an inconsistency with regard to a portion of the drug evidence where there's any indication that evidence may be compromised or mishandled, the Commonwealth will not proceed to trial. The cases were dismissed by the Norfolk County District Attorney's Office in the wake of an audit that five investigates has learned found guns, cash and drugs missing from the evidence room of Braintree PD. These are the first of hundreds of cases expected to be dropped due to questions about the integrity of evidence or missing evidence. Sources tell us in many cases, heat sealed evidence bags were torn open or cut. I commend the district attorney for recognizing his ethical obligation to inform the defendant that there was a problem with the evidence. Jorge, Grandin. Jorge Grandin's drug charge was also tossed out. The Cambridge man was arrested by Braintree police for allegedly trafficking cocaine. The Commonwealth cannot establish chain of custody as required to preserve the integrity of the case. I presume in that it was kept in the, in the Braintree evidence locker, I would think that would be true of uh, every case in the town of Braintree, would it not? And the DA expects hundreds of cases to be dismissed. Prosecutors today told the judge where there's any indication that evidence has been compromised or mishandled, they have no choice but to dismiss those cases in the interest of justice. Kathy Curran, 5 Investigates.